What's up, Plant Junkies? Jody here for another plant video from plantjunkiecreations.com. Today I'm going to be going over the basic plant care of this beautiful Amy Dream. There are a few types, and this one is specifically the variegated version. There's a green version, and there's a silver. I also have silver, but I'll go over that in another video. But originally when I had gotten this one. She was just a one leaf cutting. And she's put off two new leaves, has one on the way. And on this side, you can see another little sprout coming. Something I've observed while taking care of her, she is somewhat of a slow grower. I've had this plant in this pot for quite some time and she's just now kind of lightly putting out a root down there. So I would say this plant doesn't mind being somewhat root bound. I'm not going to transplant her until springtime. Right now it is almost February. I'm going to let her really get root bound before I transplant her. I would consider the variegated Amy Dream to be an easy plant to take care of provided that you give her an environment that she thrives in. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on the basic care on how to do so. The light requirement for this plant can tolerate medium to bright and direct light, but she thrives best in that bright and direct light. Since she is the variegated version, the more white a plant has, the more light they need. The water requirement for this plant, like I always say, it just depends on what type of pot you're using and what size. So for example, this three inch terracotta pot here, I water this plant on a weekly basis. Since she is terracotta and in a somewhat smaller pot, she dries out faster opposed to a plastic pot. But as a rule of thumb for plastic pots or anything larger, you'll want to let your pot or your plant dry out about halfway to about three quarters dry. Plants usually thrive when they are more dried out. If you tend to be an overwaterer, I would recommend using a terracotta. The soil requirement for this plant really appreciates a well-draining epiphytic mix. You can get away with using any indoor potting mix, but I like to spoil my plants, so what I use is Fox Farm Happy Frog soil, and then I like to add a little bit of drainage. And what I use for that are coconut chips that look like this. She just got watered, so it's soaked. It's a little darker. And then I add charcoal. I also add some perlite to help with that drainage. The fertilizer requirement for this plant, you'll typically want to fertilize bi-weekly. And what I like to use, I rotate between. And the first one being Gringo Rasta Rise Up. This is an all around, just really great fertilizer for your plants. And then I like to use hydrolyzed fish seaweed emulsion. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to click on that like button. Also, if you're interested in plant care content, click on that icon to subscribe to my channel.